Yeah, well, welcome back to Main Switch. <laughs> welcome back! We're talking about excreting apparati. Well, rather, today we're, we're talking about glue. Glue. Let's check it out. It, hold thing, it holds things together. A nipple like, and this one has a flat. Like, what if your nipple was like that? It just had a, a flat ex, ex, extrusion excreting. Apparatus? Apparatus! <laughs> Dude, today we're doing an experiment. Experiment? A little, like, science-y stuff. Not really, but, I mean, kinda. It's not gonna be too scientific, so if y'all are here for that, then you're probably gonna be disappointed. In the world of woodworking, you will find that nothing is your best friend as much as wood glue. Wood glue! Best friend, right? When, when you really start woodworking, as opposed to carpentry, but when you really start woodworking, you find out that wood glue is the n best way to hold stuff together. It's stronger than nails, stronger than screws, holds things together than both of those things. The only way you'll get even better is if you use some fancy joinery with some glue. There's all kinds of wood glue that you could get for your projects. I am a fan of Type Bond 2. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. But it is my glue of choice, and I've been using it since I started woodworking, and I wouldn't use anything else. But. But. What if you could? What if you could? It's so, a big butt. And um, wood glue is a PVA glue. Personally verifiable applicant. Polyvinyl acetate. Polyvinyl acetate. It yeah. is a type of thermoplastic. The, the short way of saying this is, <laughs> wood glue is a PVA glue, but school glue is also a PVA glue. They are also polyvinyl acetates. Let's say you're in the middle of a glue up, like gluing up an ingrain cutting board, and you're halfway through, and all of a sudden, you run out of glue. <laughs> what are you going to do? Are you, you have to do some impromptu woodworking in your kid's second grade classroom. <laughs> so if you're gluing together an ingrain cutting board, and you're halfway done, you can't just stop. So what you do is you run into your kid's room, you raid their backpack, and you find one of these three glues. Yes. So, well, you take their glue, <laughs> and you see if you can finish your project with this. So we need to see... Is this as strong as wood glue? And you know what, actually, I know we're doing new videos now, but this is an experiment I've been wanting to try w way back. Oh yeah? Yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So this is like, I'd say, probably like a lifelong goal you're fulfilling here. It is. Nice. You, you went all out, you got the glitter glue. So this is, this is probably the main guy. They're making all these fancy glue, so your kid might not have this. So they might have Elmer's metallic, metallic glue, or they might have Elmer's glitter. Dude, you got so the gold sparkle too. We need to see how strong is this joint gonna hold up. All right, but so we need to glue some boards together. We need to glue some boards together. Or you go with me to the shop because I didn't do it yet. I think I'm gonna stay here, dude. I should have thought about that before having you come over here so, to film this. You have more beer in your fridge? Uh, I think so. I'm good. Okay. Be over here, entertaining Wait. myself. I'm gonna start with my trusted Type Bond Two. As the control piece. Next up is regular white Elmer's school glue. It definitely feels a, a lot wa more watery. Elmer's glitter glue. Well, this is a lot harder to squeeze out of here than uh, regular Elmer's glue was. Ooh, that feels a lot thicker like the regular wood glue. Right. Not seeing a lot of squeeze out from this one. And Elmer's metallic glue. Well, once again, it's a lot thicker. It even feels a little bit harder to squeeze out of the bottle than the glitter glue was. Ooh, that's that's like Time toothpaste to thing. Hey! Kinda looks Caleb, like toothpaste. Caleb's letting glue dry, I'm letting glue dry. This is a good time. Here's our test joints all glued up with a random wood. So let those dry overnight and then we can rendezvous back with the boy. I got like dirt buggers in here. I let these sit overnight to make sure that they were cured completely. Overnight? You stay in my house overnight? <laughs> yeah, dude. With the follow up table? Yeah. 
No, nah, I've been looking at your Christmas plant. I've been not, Doesn't look like you've been bored. Not playing with glue or anything. It's a good thing I got two of each of these because I had these in the shop. Now I can't touch anything until this dries. <laughs> well, you're going to need to touch these. Oh, no. We have the wood glue control piece. What is the best way we can test these joints? I think the best thing to do is to take the control piece. And both of us just like really take a good pull on it. Yeah, see if you can break it. <laughs> I don't want to get punched. <laughs> uh, there's like no way to get good leverage on it either. I don't hurt your weenie. <laughs> I don't want to hurt my weenie. <laughs> See, this is <laughs> horrifying. This is horrifying. Okay, so we tested the control piece. Next, we're going to test Elmer's white. Dangerous. It's on there. I feel like if if there if it was at a more narrow angle and there were better ways to get like leverage on it, I feel like we could make some headway. But we're just trying by hand right now. It's not to say that we won't try any other methods. Just... This is not all right, dude. Elmer's white. So far. Elmer's White is passing the test, I would say. I mean, it's not like we're bodybuilders or anything, but... Next, we have Elmer's Metallic. <laughs> I didn't even think about pulling it. <laughs> I have a hammer. Ooh! <laughs> oh, dude, that would have been bad. I would have just fucking clonk. Yeah, this is dangerous. I feel like one of them is going to break a finger. That Elmer's Metallic is a pass as well. Last, we have Elmer's Glitter Glue. I'm applying, like, the same amount of strength to all of these, and it doesn't feel any different than the Type Bond. I feel like this is just a good way to bit myself in the face. <laughs> See, this is a good way for you to hit. <laughs> That's not going anywhere, man. Dude, so just strength alone, I, hurt my wrist I think they all pass. I think so. They all pass, just as well as the tight bond, too, as far as just strength goes, because nothing is happening. We might have to try something else. One of these joints is going to break. You dark and ominous. <laughs> so it's dark out, y'all, but we... We gotta break this glue. So, Adam, do you want to start with the control piece? Yeah. Oh, you broke the joint! There was a lot of wood that came with it. I think I figured out the key to it. You gotta hit it near the joint. I was thinking if you hit it towards the end that it would... You could apply more leverage, but... Elmer's white. Let's see how... Okay, that felt like it didn't take a lot of force. Which one you want? Dude, Elmer's Glitter, it's got that gold in it. Adam going after the Elmer's Glitter. It, it's sort of like, I think I think we've really just found the... The weak point. The weak point, the technique. The Elmer's Metallic. Let me give it a fighting chance, I'll hold it with my hand. Maybe I'll try hitting it down here and just see what it does. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah. Let me try it by hand up in our breaking spot. So we did manage to break all the joints. The results are impressive, mm -hmm. I would say. Actually, yeah, but by the breaking, I think we revealed more about their their individual strength. Dude, and actually, I would say the prospects aren't looking very good for tight bond. I would actually say that maybe, maybe aside from the glitter, tight bond 2 has more... Just exposed glue on it. Elmer's white took more wood off. Right. So more wood came off of this than the tight bond. Mm -hmm. The glitter looks it's almost so, so. the same as the tight bond. There's glue on both sides. You yeah. can feel the glue here and feel the glue here, definitely. And <laughs> see the glitter. And I wonder if that has anything to do with the actual... Like, there's bits and pieces in here. So here, I think we have more glue breaking because it's not... This is all one homogenous composition. I'm using big words to sound smart, y'all. 
Meanwhile, Elmer's I Metallic. Think... <laughs> Elmer's Metallic I mean, had the best bond. Yeah, I mean, look at that. You can see where it like it really soaked into the wood. Like you, you can see in the striations. Yeah, like in it the penetrated grain. inside of the wood. Yeah. Dude, it took the most wood with it. Look at that big chunk. That's huge, yeah. That's on there. That's a big piece of wood. I mean, I mean that's a big piece of wood. That is actually the wood itself broke apart before yeah, so the we glue did. Just judging by how much wood is left over from each break, Elmer's Metallic looks like, like Elmer's a Metallic winner. Elmer's Metallic is our winner, so... Like a child's school glue. Like... I'm going to have to start using Elmer's Metallic to glue up my Elmer's projects. Metallic. Elmer's Metallic is the future of woodworking. I mean, every once in a while you could see a glue scene. Would you rather, you know, see metallic blue in there? It's like a river epoxy. It's thing. like a river epoxy. <laughs> Except in a gap. We've come full circle. Okay. Dude, so if we were, I'm if impressed. We were to, if we were to set up a champion's circle, Elmer's Metallic as numero uno, who do you think would be a good second place? I would say second would be Elmer's, Elmer's White. White. Where does second go? I think over here. I'm not sure. This is second, y'all. In third place, I'm I'm a woodworker, so I'm biased. So I think I'll let you call the shot. I'm, which one I'm looks? Biased too. Which one looks? I'm gonna go with Type Bond. Type Bond's a third. Last. He's kind of back here. Dead last. He's kind of back here, depressed. I feel like we're gonna stir up some controversy with this. I'm sure. <laughs> And we will. <laughs> Somebody's gonna come pop in there and be like, you can't do that. I mean, I think the wood that stayed behind tells a story. <laughs> Metallic. That's very that's very quotable. The wood that stays behind tells a story. The wood that stays behind tells a story. And the river runs through it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so I would say you're not gonna be trying to break any of your glue joints by hand. And you're certainly not going to be trying to bust your projects apart with a hammer. So really, I would say any of these yeah. could be... Su Again, I don't know about the water-soluble thing. So if it's a water situation, then err on the side of caution, I guess. But yeah. other than that, if you run out of glue while you're in the shop, you could totally raid your kid's backpack. And I think your project is... Pro I, I don't know how well they would hold up over time. Yeah, raid your kid's backpack and you get some free pot out of it too, so... Yeah. That and some glue for your shop. You know what? Our stains were all fails, but really, I think these were all wins. You can use school glue <laughs> as wood glue. We turned it around, I think. We learned what we needed to know. If you liked and enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, because that'll do things. It will glue the algorithm together. Subscribe to this channel because we have brand new videos every Friday. Every Friday. And every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. We follow up on those previous Friday yep. stuff. We are, you, we are better than your mom's new boyfriend. We're YouTube Who doesn't boys. follow up. Click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.